Dear students, in this video tutorial, I will demonstrate you the practical number 6 of embedded system course. Practical number 6 is about developing and testing the C program to perform following arithmetic operations on 16-bit data. And those arithmetic operations are addition and subtraction. In short, we have to perform 16-bit addition as well as 16-bit subtraction for 8051 microcontroller. Now, for that purpose, we will require the knowledge of arithmetic operators. So, there are five different arithmetic operators as shown in the table. The first one is plus operator which performs addition. Second one is dash which performs subtraction. Third one is asterisk which is used to perform the multiplication operation. And as far as division is concerned, there are two different operator. One is slash, which will give you the quotient part of the division. And another one is percentage, which will give you modular division. In this particular practical, we will mainly focus on addition and subtraction. Let us read the program statement. Now what we have to do first in first program we will perform the 16 bit subtraction. It means that there would be two 16 bit numbers and we will write a C program to perform the subtraction of those two 16 bit numbers. Now before writing the program first let us develop the algorithm. In first step declare three unsigned integer. Now why three unsigned integers are required because for first number one integer will be required to store the second number second integer will be required and when we perform subtraction of first number and second number third number would be generated that third number would be the result so in short these three unsigned integers would be required for first number second number and result in second stage we will assign the values to first two numbers and then we will perform the subtraction of those two numbers and then we will verify the result. Now let us do the programming part. Here the program is given. We will discuss the program one by one. The first statement is inclusion of reg51.h header file in the program. Now why it is necessary to include this header file? Because whatever special function registers that we use in our program the definition of all special function registers of 8051 is stored in reg51.h file that's why we include this header file then it is followed by the main function so it is written as void may void now the next thing is we have declared the three variables and what is the data type of those three variables it is unsigned integer now why unsigned integer is taken because as I have already told you that I have to perform 16 bit subtraction. It means that the numbers whose subtraction is to be performed, they are of 16 bit length and in C language unsigned integer, particularly integer data type is used to store 16 bit number. That's why instead of character, I have taken integer. If I had to perform 8 bit subtraction, then I would have taken here character data type. But as 16 bit subtraction is to be performed, I have taken INT as data type. And this unsigned word, it means that I am going to use only positive numbers. If I had taken signed here, then it means that positive as well as negative numbers were allowed. But as I am going to perform the subtraction of positive numbers, I have taken unsigned integer. The first variable is named as i, second variable is named as j, the third variable is named as k. The first number would be stored in j, second number would be stored in k and subtraction of j and k that is the result is going to be stored in i. Now let us first initialize the variable j with some number. Here j is equal to 0x4567 is written. What does it mean? This 0x which is written before the 16-bit number indicates that 
the number is in hexadecimal and that number is going to be stored in the variable j similarly the second number which is 1 2 3 4 in hexadecimal form it will be stored in the variable k so first number is in j second number is in k and i have to perform the subtraction of these two numbers and result is to be stored in another variable which is i so the next statement is i equals to j minus k it means that 4 5 6 7 h minus 1 2 3 4 h subtraction is performed and whatever is the result that is obtained after performing this subtraction that will be stored in a variable i now when i say these variables i j k i mean the memory of 8051 microcontroller now let us do the practical in keel id so here the a project is created and a file is created the first step as usual is inclusion of header file so include reg51.h header file this file stores the definition of all special function registers of 8051 the next is write the main function so while written before main indicates the return type of main function as main is not going to return anything that's why void word is written and inside the bracket of main i am going to write void one more time because this main function is not going to accept any parameter from any other function it is followed by the opening bracket which indicates the start of body of main function now as discussed just before we are having three different variables whose data type is unsigned integer and the name of those variables are i j and k so this statement is used to declare the variables now what is the next thing the next thing is that I have to initialize first variable j with the number 0x4567. So what I will do? I will write the statement j equals to 0x means the number is in hexadecimal and which is that number? 4567. We can take any number. I have taken here 4567. So initialize the variable first variable with the number 4567. So this statement when it gets executed it will store the number 4567 in variable j it will store the number in variable j it means that it will store the number 4567 in memory code memory of microcontroller similarly the second number is to be stored in another variable whose name is k and which is that second number given in the manual that second number is 0x12 Three, four. So I will write 0x1234 and I will terminate the statement by semicolon. So this statement will store 1234h in variable k. Now we have initialized j and k with two different numbers. It's time to perform the subtraction and I have to store the result of subtraction in variable i. That's why i is equal to j minus k statement is written so what this statement will do it will perform the subtraction of number stored in j with the number stored in k and whatever is the result of subtraction that result will get stored in variable i so in this way the subtraction will be performed and as usual the last statement of c program is while one followed by the semicolon so this statement is as good as halting the program so it will keep the control of the program here only and it is followed by closing of the main bracket so this is the program for 16 bit subtraction now let us save the program and let us build the program after building the program you will at the bottom you will see that there are no errors 
If the program contains any errors, then we have to correct those errors and again rebuild the program. Fortunately, this program is not having any error. So we can proceed for the execution part. Now, how to execute the program? We have to go into debug menu and then we have to click start stop debug session. This message will appear. Click the OK. Now, what we have to do? Where we are going to have the result? We are going to have the result in the variable i, which is the part of memory. So for that purpose, you have to have the memory window here. Actually, memory window is already here. But if memory window is not visible, then what we have to do? You have to go into the view menu and then you have to click the memory window and followed by memory one here as the result is going to be stored in internal data memory i have typed d followed by colon followed by 0x00 means this memory win window will display the values of internal ram from location 00 onwards now what is the next step the next step is to run the program how to run the program you can either click this menu shortcut icon or you can click the debug and then you can click the run button now once you click the run button you will find that somewhere here you can observe that somewhere here there are two numbers 33 three and 33 three. and these are the values of the variable i so this i contains the value 3333 three, three, three. so the result of subtraction is 3333 three, three, three. now how you can cross check the result of subtraction is correct or not you can manually do the hexadecimal subtraction or in computer you, you have the scientific calculator where select the hex mode now what is the first number 4567 so 4567 minus what is the second number 1234 1234 press the equal to button now what answer you are getting here 3333 three, three, three. and the same answer that we have obtained here it means that the result 16 result of 16 bit subtraction is 3333 three, three, three. and we have cross check the result by using the calculator so in this way we have performed the 16 bit subtraction in Keel IDE. The program is developed in Keel IDE by using C language and it is debugged as well as it is simulated in Keel itself. The next part of this practical is what you have to do? You have to develop and execute an embedded C program to perform 16 bit addition. Now, what changes I should make in the same program so that addition will be performed again i am going to have three variables for addition you can name them i j k or you can name them by any other name like say a comma b comma c so declare three variables now why i have taken unsigned integer as data type because these are 16 bit variables so first i will delete this first the first variable a it will store the first 16 bit number say first 16 bit number is 1786 b will hold the second 16 bit number say second 16 bit number is say 2038 and what i have to do i have to perform the addition of these two numbers and result of 16 bit addition is to be stored in third variable whose name is c so c is equal to a plus b it is terminated with the semicolon so what is the difference between this program and the previous program the only difference is that instead of addition you are going to perform the sorry instead of subtraction you are going to perform the addition rest of the things are same now as I have made the changes in program, I will save the program and then I will build the program and check for any errors. Fortunately, there are no errors. Now what is the next thing? 
I have to start the debug session. So click start stop debug session. Click the OK. As I am going to use the same kill window, the memory window is already there. And you can see that all the locations of the internal RAM, they are loaded with 00, zero because I have not loaded the, I have not executed the program yet. Now I will execute the program. So debug and run. Now we can see here that what result I have got? 37BE is the result which I have got after execution of the program. It means that when 1786 is added with 2038, 37BE is the result. Now let us check it. So the first number is 1786. So 1786. It is to be added. So I have to click plus symbol with second number which is 2038. 3, 8. Now click the equal to sign. So what result I am getting here? 3, 7, B, E. And the same result I have obtained here. 3, 7, B, E. So in this way, I have cross checked that the result which I have obtained by writing the program is correct. So in this way, 16-bit arithmetic operations can be performed by writing a C program for 8051 microcontroller. To stop the debug session, click debug and then click the stop. And the final step is click the debug menu and click stop debug session. So this is all about the practical of performing 16-bit addition as well as 16-bit subtraction. Thank you.